Ah. Look at that jiggle. Good on you. Sacrifice. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Whiskey Tribe, because you stepped up and gave millions <laughs> and millions <laughs> of likes to that video, don't double check that. We convinced them to open the doors to let us perform Will It Distill episodes inside the Crowded Borough Whiskey Company. I'm a summon. The big guns. There you go. You hear that? That's the summoning. Brianna! Hi. You wanna, Hi. You wanna make some alcohol out of weird things? Yes. Cool. What's up? Jesse Wilson, you hot shit, what are you doing? Hanging out. Are you ready to help me make weird and interesting things from stuff that should probably never ever be used to make alcohol? Uh, I would say let's make something disgusting. Did you go through the comments of this episode, the, the Will It Distill first episode, where I recommended that, that I asked people for recommendations on what we should try and distill and make alcohol from? Did you read the comments? I did. Uh, the MBs had a whole lot of awesome suggestions, but Magnificent Bastards being Magnificent Bastards went straight for the stinkiest thing you could possibly think of. Dairy and fruit. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then how much durian fruit do I need? If you want to do it properly, you need a fair bit more because if you get any of the goopy stuff into the still, there is a chance that you'll burn that stuff on the bottom of the still. I'm familiar with the burn flavor. <laughs> you can see what's starting oh, to burn. Burnt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do I prepare the durian fruit? Am I mashing it up? Am I blending it up? Like, what am I doing? Um, I would suggest probably using a blender. Durian fruit into the blender, equal part water into the blender, whiz it, and then throw it into your fermenter. I've never smelled durian fruit. Going in for the first time. <laughs> okay, let's make booze out of this. <laughs> Disgusting! <laughs> and then you pop the yeast in on top. And about how long is that yeast going to take to do its job? On the smaller scale, home distilling, one to two weeks is about where you're going to be normally. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, it's juicy. Whoa! Oh! That is fun! <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, it looks like regurgitated eggs. Okay. Doing good. You're doing good, little buddy. Look at that jiggle. It's <laughs> impressive. Good on ya. So put this here. Ready? That's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. So, how long does this usually take, John? Two hours? I have no idea. Nobody tells me these things. But like I said, nobody told me how to do this. So we're gonna let, uh, let the liquids separate from the solids and then we're gonna run this through a still and see if durian fruit will distill into something. <laughs> Halfway possibly drinkable. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Rihanna, what are we doing? Distilling. No, but I need like a lot of details. I don't know any of them. Um, so to start, fruit. Yes. And it's going to be put in the distill, <laughs> and we're going to churn it with the buckets. <laughs> uh, which I know a lot about. Um, and then you strain it with bowls, with holes. <laughs> Nailed it. Let's do that. Perfect. So let's transfer, hopefully this is mostly liquid and very little solid. It's mostly liquid. Okay, we're gonna transfer this now. <laughs> Ah, oh, it just looks like a lemonade with a skin on top. Mm, oh. That's mm -hmm. good stuff. Why, why, why is there? Oh, oh, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> why is there a skin, John? We didn't put it through the bowls with the holes yet. Okay, uh, I'm going in. 
Oh god. Oh, a little bit of sludge. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's creamy. Mm. Mm -hmm. that? Oh yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the cream has extra stench to it. Do you want to put that up there? I believe in you okay. so much. Like with the knees. Okay, so John, we have a very tiny still. What's happening here? Uh, that's just the cooling water uh, constantly going in and out here. So heat down here starts to cook this, makes it um, simmer, it's gonna evaporate, come up into here. And this is a cooling jacket to where that is simmering, gaseous, Durian fruit is going to cool from this water jacket that's constantly being recycled and then condensed and distilled and dropped down through there. How much time are you looking at for that to happen? For anything to start happening, probably yeah. 30 minutes from now. Okay, and then to and be then, done. And then to be done, probably about three or four hours from then. Well, you, you got this, buddy. You can bring me something if you want. I believe it. Eyes on the prize. But Right? Yeah. She's a go-getter, she knows. Yeah, yeah. I'd like a double. Like a triple. <laughs> Hello? Ooh, what's Ooh, this? Ooh, what's a present? Okay. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get into this. There is a, why is it? <laughs> we're gonna get into this. Uh, supposedly it's a durian fruit. Ooh, that's... Oh! <laughs> All right, this is what we're working with. It's a porcupine corpse. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> god, let's get in. It's really, really prickly. Oh my god, it looks like a butt. I know, it looks like a butt. <laughs> oh, it is spiky, ow. Okay. Oh, I keep getting the moisture on me. Why is it so moist? I don't know. So this is the durian fruit. It is a very exotic and very expensive fruit. So we have successfully completed, give me some things over here. We successfully completed the durian distillation process. And these eight samples were taken to different parts of the process. There's cuts that happen as stuff is coming off the still. We're gonna bring in Daniel. We're gonna see how close is the durian spirit to an actual durian fruit. And we're gonna crack open this bad boy and ruin the day. <laughs> Are your fingers hurting? Yes! Uh, <laughs> hey, this is, um, uh... Did, did you shower? <laughs> it's It smells a little in here. No, I didn't. I was trying to help her out, like you got something on your face, or, you Or you know. smell like ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So right here we have the lineup of the distilled durian. Oh. And these are the cuts that came off the still. We actually got about a gallon in total. Are these in order of, like, heads yeah. down to tails? Yeah, this may have a bit of methanol. I'm gonna wanna live up here, I think. Do you wanna pour? <laughs> I'm just really not looking forward to getting any, any of this. <sighs> Do you know the cuts, like at what proof and what percentage? Sure, sure. number one, this uh, was at 30%, 30% ABV, 30% alcohol. Okay. Oh my Ooh. God. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> what the f That took a year to make it. <laughs> it did take a year. Oh, I'm fired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got it. Yeah. Okay. Recovered. This is one. This is a 30% ABV. What is that? It's not pickles. <laughs> it's not bread and butter sweet pickles. It's, yeah. But it's close. <laughs> that went in too deep. Wait, okay. is that the blinding one? It's it, fine. Ha! Oh, yeah. Rancid apple. No, there's something. No. It's like a rotten apple cider. There's something else in there. It is in the cider, it is in the uh, vinegar direction. Yeah, like a vinegar cider type of deal. It smells like nail polish remover. Yeah. Yes. That's the 30 And pickles. And pickles. Okay. Okay. And pickles. The two combined, right, yeah. I'm gonna do a little sippy sip. Okay. Oh God. I'll tell you the weirdest note. Unexpected. Green grape skins. Oh, I haven't had green grapes yeah. for ages. Yeah. Mm. The skin of green grapes. It's actually not bad. Uh, number two, this was 20% ABV. Uh, this was 11 minutes later coming off of that little still. All right. 11 minutes later, it already dropped down to 20%. Mm hmm Okay. We did it's not similar. have a very oh, large This one's mash, a little bit we? more like. It's a little bit more um, meaty meat. with that rotten fruit. Not quite pastrami. It's a. It's like the sauce. packaged meats. Oh, uh, yeah. You know? Yes, it's yeah. the one when it's like all in the peel back the plastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like, yeah. A, like a lunchable. Like meat yes. slice. Yeah, it's yes. like bologna. It's a mishmash of random yeah. things. It's like a, a lunchable vibe with the applesauce. I'm also getting like 
an overly cooked, dried out pork chop with applesauce on it. You ever had pork chop applesauce? No, on it? no that's I don't like good, applesauce though. at all. Won't touch it with a ten foot pole. Yeah, he doesn't. What's wrong like, with you? He doesn't like smoothies either. So many things. <laughs> Green grape skins and apple juice. Oh, I got vinegar. <laughs> I can, the sugar's gone. Well, I, yeah, and I can tell it's also a lower proof too. Oh! This is, now 20 minutes later, we got number three, and this is 15% ABV. Oh, my day is ruined. You know what? I'm getting a fruitier. Oh, it came back. Well, I'm getting a fruitier, less rotten vibe. And bready. Yeah. There's more to it, there's more. It's a, it's a fruit pastry. So I'm a, I'm a little concerned. Have we acclimated to the rotten grundle? Oh yeah. That we're just not getting it anymore, and now it's just the fruit. This is like smoke blind and finding fruit in Lafroig. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm smelling peanut butter and jelly. Uh, ah. Oh yeah. And once again, leaning into an apple juice type mm. of direction. Yeah. 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 That's bizarre. Whoa. Ooh. That was tangy. It's got That's, a bit of a wang to it. Yeah, I don't wang. Think, I, think, I think we've gotten too far. <laughs> Got some wang. I think we need to live in only the smell from now on. Mm. All right, so we're moving on to four. This was 10 minutes later. It's a 10% ABV. You know what? As we get further into mm. this, it's getting less and less offensive. The nose is. Yeah. The nose is. It, it, now I, keep in mind, in a distillation run, it's the getting, lower you get, yeah. before you get to the cardboard funk, it gets sweeter and, and sugary, mm -hmm. and like sugar water. The tails, like the final things you're pulling off of a still, you're often getting like a cardboard, some people would describe it as like a wet dog smell. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if that holds true for a durian distillation. Mm, it kinda yeah. smells like a Capri Sun. There's something else in there though. The pickle note is still there. It's got that like salt and vinegar chips. I'm still. It just, that's what I was trying to figure out. Oh yeah. It's the butteriness of the oil, salt and vinegar kettle chip. Yeah. Right. Let's mm. go right to the tails, the final leavings of this. All right, mm. yeah. I don't know why that would. Hit, I don't know why that would hit me wrong. Oh, that's dumpster, oh, dumpster chips. It's on my hands. I'm gonna need it. Oh, oh, I gotta get smell it from here. No, you can't. Hang on. <laughs> get in there. Get in there. Quit pussyfooting around. Yeah. <laughs> really? Mm. Oh, it's also feet. It's also feet. <laughs> it's smell. It. It's feet. Here's a bit of feet. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh it's feet. Just okay. welcome it and accept Just it. Just embrace the stink. Yes. See right here? You see this? See that scar? Yeah. Yeah. That's from my upper ear piercing. I had to remove it after don't, about don't, uh, three months. Don't, I know what you're doing. Because don't, it started uh, don't to do get it. infected. Don't do oh. it. And you would go like this to clean it, and it smelled no. like Ew. infected stinky cheese. Ew. That's what this smells like. It does not. Yes. You have Inf ruined everything. You do. <laughs> it smells like everything. infected animal. Why do you think? Why do you think I'm trying not to throw up over here? All right. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Like that story made it significantly it tastes, worse. It tastes like it smells. I, did you taste your infected ear hole? <laughs> no, like this smells. The goal of a spirit experiment is to try and find that, that meaty center, the essence of the original ingredient. Right. So, <laughs> Daniel, wait right there. Are you oh, waiting? Yeah, let me dump this. Are you waiting? Oh, that's spiky. Ow! Ow, yeah, hurts. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, I'm trying to do the whole nail thing where if you get a lot of it, yeah. it it spreads out the pain. I don't know. <laughs> so you looked at this and thought, yeah, that'll work. Let's eat that shit. Mm. They saw a stink hole and they said, let's make it happen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure how to prepare this. Well, we have a giant K bar, don't we? I'm not sure what's really. Yeah. There's our K bar. <laughs> this is what I need you to do. Um, chop it. Chop it in half. I'll but don't let go and murder Alex. I don't know how to use knives. <laughs> oh wait, that was crooked uh, too. I don't want to hurt him. Oh my god. I'm afraid. It's okay. Okay. Good. Good. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. Wow. Is that what it feels good. like to do that to a head? Yes. Oh. How? Oh. Whoa. That was amazing. Oh. Sacrifice. You guys are violent. Dude, this <laughs> the god of stank. <laughs> Ooh, it's got. Uh, you got it? Oh. Oh. That even looks meaty. It looks like the inside of an animal. 
<laughs> like if you had just shown me this cross section, I would have thought some type of yeah. sea creature. I'm feeling oh. like a little bump. Like a rumble? I'm not sure Jesus. what part of this is the most edible. Oh All right, there we God. go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, oh. Ew, it's like squishy. <laughs> All right, so that's Daniel's that, piece. I don't I regret like that. No, no! It's Hold coming! On. <laughs> I feel like it. <laughs> oh, no! Okay. No, okay. don't drop it. I'm not doing don't that drop whole, it. Thing. whole thing. The whole thing. Quit no. pussyfooting. Quit pussyfooting. <laughs> you have corrupted this young woman. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Three, two, one, go. Mm. <clears throat> Tastes exactly like it smells. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, like I just. Oh, I'm crying. It's I, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Jesse from Still It for kicking us off on this series here. If you want to check out like nuts and bolts stuff, Still It's a really cool channel. Ideas for the next Will It Distill project in the comments. And then also in the Whiskey Tribe community, we are now doing a vote for the charity that we're going to be giving $10,000 to. We're going to be doing that in the community tab. In the community tab. Narrowed it down to two charities. You can learn about those two charities in the description. It's either Community First Village or Austin Pets Alive. There's gonna be a vote in the community tab, so vote on where we Aww. want that money to go as a community. A really cool organization. Oh, no! Looks like we got slimed from yeah. like Nickelodeon. Yeah. Remember those slimings? Do you remember Nickelodeon? Right in yeah. Of How course. old are you? 25. How old are you? 50? Uh, you turned <laughs> <laughs> <Wait, wait. laughs>